Recovery means different things to different people and people take very different roads to get there. For some, the journey never ends. What really matters is ensuring that people on their journey have access to the things that they need to help them get there. For 27 years of my life, I was a drug addict, um, injecting heroin and amphetamine. I started smoking when I was six and started drinking when I was six. I would drink anything, and I have. I've drank breath, so surgical spirits, methylated spirits, aftershave, boot polish, paraffin, diesel, petrol, I've drank all that. And I've died three times. I was evicted eventually from my flat and became homeless and was sitting on a park bench with one bag. For many years I've been addicted to alcohol and it's only in the last two years that I made an effort to recover. I've been a heroin addict for the last 24 years. Um, I'm now in HM Pre Norwich, you know, and I'm in recovery now. Recovery communities are made up of people with a personal interest in recovery. Norfolk's recovery community is relatively new, but is growing and thriving day by day. It's like going from a nursery school straight into work. You wouldn't do it, you'd gra gradually go up through the classes, uh, through the years. When I was drinking heavily, I uh, hid away. I lost all my social skills. I didn't go out. I wasn't looking after myself. I just didn't care for myself. My family never saw me. I never got in contact with my family. Going through the recovery process, you know, my social skills have come back. My family are supporting me. I'm seeing my family quite a bit. If you're absolutely sure that you've had enough of that lifestyle, that you're prepared to walk alone, or you feel like you're walking alone, because as soon as you take them first couple of steps, the amount of people that you look around that are there to hold you up, you find that after a couple of days, weeks of persistence, that you have a whole new family. I always say it's like going on a bus journey, that you go along, and you pick different people up and you learn from these people. It might be a boring journey, but these people come on and they've all got their stories. And you learn from other people's experiences and you all share, you share your experiences. I'm using the word recovery. I say to people I'm in recovery and I'm quite happy to, is because it's my journey. That takes over your life and you have to completely change your life to recover. Recovery means to me the rest of my life. It really does, you know, I mean, I've wasted so much time. Now, you know, it's time for me to put things right, you know, and, and to enjoy life again, you know, because, I mean, all that time through drugs, is, it's, it's not enjoyment, it's, it's just pressure and hassle and, and jail, you know. But recovery to me is, is happiness and my future. Recovery to me means being able to say I'll do something and be pretty sure I'll be able to do it. Here are some people from Norfolk's recovery community sharing their views and experiences of recovery. In a sense, yeah, recovery is like freedom, really. It, it gives an addict his life back or her life back. Yes, to me, recovery has meant a new, a new life. I don't know what I did with my old life. Recovery to me means not having to wake, well, not having to go to... I couldn't even go to bed till I got a syringe of heroin and a syringe of amphetamine ready near the bed. Recovery is just a way of um, it's a way of recovering from addiction, getting your own life back, I guess. But for me, going from a chronic alcoholic to being a normal person again, living a, a normal, normal life, or a I don't know, a life. Well, to me, I, I, it, to me, it feels like freedom. I'm a slave to nothing. And so all I can say is recovery, to me now, is just fantastic. Because once you're an addict, you know, you, you're always going to be an addict, but you can be an addict in recovery. Once you make that small first step, things do start to come easier. Don't be embarrassed. Don't, don't, don't feel ashamed, you know, because there are people out there to help you. Recovery to me means do my utmost to try and help someone else I see falling down the same holes I fell down. 
I now volunteer. It's just so I can give something back to people that help me. It's my way of like saying thank you. There's, there's a quote by Einstein, isn't he? And he says that if you judge the fish, fish is his ability to climb a tree, then it's going to grow up thinking it's stupid. And I think in recovery, if you judge people by their abilities of what they can't do, then they're not going to do nothing. So it's look at people in recovery and see what they can do and encourage them to proceed with what they can do. My turning point was my last drink and that was when I'd had enough. I don't remember my last drink. I know when it was and the, how, where a drink had took me. And it took me to a place I will never ever go back. It's wonderful to be free of my addiction. Uh, recovery has changed me because um, every day, you know, every day now since I've been clean, I wake up. It's 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 like an, it's like being born again. To be honest, you know, it's it's such a great feeling. I, I mean, I've laughed more in the last five and a half months and enjoyed people's company than I have in the last twenty years. It was just so wonderful just to have a little wand and. say it's going to be all right and that's all I can do now is give a bit of hope to other people.